Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of China Teacher, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in China. Today, I would like to answer a question that was asked by one of my subscribers. She was mentioning different terms and different booklets that she needs to be issued by the consulate or, co or embassy in her home country before coming to China, and she was hearing different versions of what she needs to get. So, if you want to know the names of all these different documents and the differences and how things have changed, don't go anywhere. And see you on the other side of the intro. Be a real bad boy. Welcome back, everybody. So, first, let's start with what happens in your home country. In your home country, when you go to the embassy or consulate, you need to show several things. Number one, you need to bring your contract and very likely you need to bring the, a copy of the license of the company that wants to employ you. That is going to certify that you have a job offer in China. Number two, you need to bring your college degree and your transcripts that need to be probably translated and notarized. That is basically to, to certify that you're qualified to do the job that you're applying for. And well, you need your um, clean bill of health and a criminal police record. So that is basically to make sure that you are not a risk for the Chinese population. All these things uh, connect to some documents that were issued in the past. So, your degree and your transcripts were supposed to give you a foreign expert certificate. Your contract and the license from the company was supposed to give you these. These are known as the Alien Employment Permit. The Alien Employment Permit connects you with the contract and with the company. If you see inside, for example, the name of the company, let me cover my passport. Well, basically, the name of the company is printed there so that you are connected to the company. You can only work for this particular company, all right? Um, so that had to do with the contract and the uh, company's license. Um, and, well, with this, what consulates and embassies do is they issue you a work visa. This is the so-called Z visa. Um, a lot of recruiters online, on Facebook and whatnot, yeah, we offer Z visa, we offer Z visa. There's something very important for you guys to understand. A Z visa is an entry visa, all right? An entry visa usually has a very short duration. A Z visa lasts between 30 days, perhaps 90 days at most. But this Z visa, once you land in China, needs to be converted into a permanent residence. Let me show you mine. Let me cover some of the, well, this is my expired one, so it doesn't really matter. This is last year's. So this is the residence permit, okay? And as you can see here at the bottom, somewhere around here, let me see if I can get my finger right. Um, it says purpose of visit. The purpose of visit is work. So this residence permit is your permanent residence permit, residence permit, uh, and it states that you're here to work. So we've mentioned so far the foreign expert certificate is what certifies that you have the qualifications necessary for the job that you're going to do. If somebody doesn't ask you to apply for that, perhaps they're not going to give you a job as a teacher. Second, you need to get your alien employment permit, which is the contract and the license from the company. That is to tie you to that company and that company only. And thirdly, you get your work visa, your Z visa, which allows you to enter China. But do remember, that needs to be changed into a permanent visa. All right, so from last year, and let me show you here on my employment, alien employment permit. This is last, oh no, sorry, this is the previous one. I have two, as you can see. Well, I have more than one, but these are the ones that I brought to shoot this video. Here you can see that um, the validity of this particular one Let's wait until it gets in focus. There you go. The validity, the validity of this one is until May 29 of 2017, which was last year. This is no longer necessary. The foreign expert certificate is also no longer necessary. When you submit this document, either at the consulate or at the embassy, uh, or here in China upon your arrival, you will be issued this. Let's wait until it gets in focus. 
there, right? This is your work permit. Now, let me cover the information at the bottom. This was issued to me um, in 2017. This has a QR code here at the bottom, yeah? And the QR code, let's wait until you, yeah? This QR code at the bottom gives access to each and every piece of information that you have submitted to a consulate or to an embassy. Now, here's the thing. This is a dual system. It is working parallel right now. Why? Because it's a little bit difficult to implement these changes throughout all the embassies and consulates in the world. So, if you are from a country that's not too big or doesn't have a lot of relationship with China, then chances are that you're still working with these booklets and they're going to issue these booklets, not the card. So don't worry, um, there is no confusion. As long as you get those booklets and those documents that I mentioned, then you should be fine. When you get to China, you will be given the permanent residency and the, the card from the, from the Labor Bureau or what is known as SOFIA now. Now, here's the thing. The dual system that I'm talking about is that certain countries which have very strong relationships with China are already issuing this card, so you don't need to worry too much about booklets. But smaller countries with lesser relationships with China are still handling the booklets. So don't worry, don't hesitate to take a job because you're hearing different information. They're both right. Now, there's another aspect. Well, you can imagine how complicated it is to, to get this system and this network implemented throughout the world, but it's also a challenge to get implement, to get this network implemented in China. So it also depends on where you're going to teach. If you're gonna teach it in a very, very small place, perhaps they don't have access to this network yet and they won't be issuing you, issuing you the card. You will still be working with the booklets. So don't, don't, don't sweat it, okay? It, it is possible to still work using those books and in time, you will be issued the card once the network is implemented in those places. But most major cities like first tier, second tier, and well, where I am, for example, third tier, we're already working with this, which is a great thing. You don't need to renew these things um, uh, three or four different documents each year. All you need to do is present your documents, put them online and renew them so that you can get this card. Here's another thing. You don't get another card. This is interesting. You get the, the data that's stored in the QR code is updated. This card, I've used it now for two years. Well, I renewed my visa at the beginning of June this year. So yeah, I've had it for 20, 20 days this year, but you don't get a new card. You just get your information is updated. That's it. So it's something that simplifies a lot of steps. Well, guys, there you go. Um, I hope that this video is useful and, and clarifies a lot of the conflicting information that some people are getting out there. It is absolutely possible to, to find work given the booklets or given the card. If you come to China with the booklets, perhaps when you go to Labor Bureau, they will give you the card. But if you go to a smaller city, you'll keep on operating with the booklets. No worries about that. But here's the important thing. The thing that you do need to change, no matter where you are or no matter where you're going to work or live, is your residence permit. That work visa is not what matters. What matters is your residence permit and the purpose should indicate that you're here to work. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified whenever I have a new video out, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I have a new video out. And well, until I see you again, take it easy.